Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to demonstrate a technique for gathering all kind of distances in a more fast fashion. So for example, a customer reached out to me and they needed to know the perimeter along every edge of this plate, like so, including these radial edges. So if I use the measure command, I can pick on an edge and then I can hit this plus sign next to the length and I can append more dimensions to it. And if I keep hitting the plus sign, eventually I could go all the way around. But you see it takes a bunch of clicks and it deselects the edges as you're kind of going along. So unless you stick like, maybe you put like a work point in on the corner so you know exactly where you started, it could get somewhat confusing. So what I did is I took a look at that and I realized, well, I already know the edges I want. What if I could pre-select them and then extract the measurements from there? Unfortunately, the measure command doesn't allow you to do that, but I could use a 3D sketch and then with just a little bit of iLogic, I can achieve the goal that I'm looking for. So the first thing I'm gonna do, this is just the way my rule works. You could of course do it however you want. I'm gonna create a parameter called measurement underscore length. You know, I'm super creative, right? <laughs> it's Tuesday. So the measurement length is going to be the value that I'm going to publish numbers to. And then the next secret ingredient is to create a 3D sketch. And so when I create the 3D sketch, all I'm going to do is include the geometry that I want to use, okay? And you don't have to pick it in order, but you know, it just seems like a nice efficient way to do it. Et cetera, et cetera. So I grab just the entire outer edge because that's what my customer is looking for was just the outer perimeter. So we can now finish that sketch. So that's the key ingredient. I have a parameter I'm going to publish the value to, and I'm going to also pre-select the line work that I want to grab the measurement from. Now the way that my code works, I also need to call this the measurement sketch. Okay, so it's a very special 3D sketch I'm using to contain all the geometry that I want to measure. And so really quickly to take a look at the iLogic code, which of course you could pause the video if you wanted to take a look at it. And naturally I put it on the wrong screen. So here we go, bring it into view. It's relatively simple code, so I'm going to go through, grab all the API calls that I need. I need the component definition. I need a 3D sketch object, and I'm going to tally the links as I go. And so what we're doing is we're going to check for every single 3D sketch in the collection of 3D sketches for this part. Only if we find the sketch named measurement, that's why that name was so important. Now we're going to go through each edge inside of that sketch. So we're gonna check just the measurement sketch and some things don't have a length, right? Like the dots or the points at the edge of the arcs and the lines, they don't actually have a length. So I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna see if the edge <clears throat> has a length. And if it does, I of course start with zero, but then I'm going to add in whatever the new link says from the edge. <clears throat> and I've put a little bit of logger info so you can kind of see how this works. I've tested it with lines and arcs. It looks like splines also have a length uh, property in their, in their object, so I think we're fine here. And then Inventor makes everything in centimeters internally. So because I want inches, I have to divide by 2.54, which is 2.54 centimeters per inch. And you don't have to do this part, but if we make a parameter first, now we can just publish that total length. Once we cycle through all of the shapes, we can just get the total length and publish it to the parameter. So I'll go ahead and hit save and run. And the logger goes through every single one. And I was capturing what the entity was. So the eight zeros are lines, the zero fours are gonna be 3D arcs. And it's telling me what the cumulative sum is. And it publishes that to a parameter. So of course, it's not 107, 
because that is centimeters. So if I divided that by 2.54, that's where I'm getting this 42.16 inches. So again, it's a way to get the measurement values that you want without having to select them all the time. So I hope you found this tip helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.